Here's my waterfall elevator I built. I uh, made a few adjustments to it since the last video. Um, I added these glass blocks that kind of act like rails to keep the, the boat in line a little bit. Um, it's having trouble with it getting stuck under the, the glass there. The glass ledge, I didn't have anything below that so it would get stuck right there. And sometimes it would get off center and get off on the, uh, the blocks down there. And you can still have that problem if you don't dismount or enter the boat correctly. It's a little tricky sometimes. I also added the um, some lighting underneath the uh, entrance there. So I'll take a quick ride here. If I can hop on, there we go. Dismount is kind of difficult if you just wait till you hit bottom and then click and then move, you'll be alright. If you just try to move before you click to exit the boat, that's when you screw up and the boat gets off to the side and then you have problems. But if you just wait till wait till you get all the way at the top of the right there and then click, it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So that was the uh, first waterfall I did. And this only goes from my lair down to the valley floor. And I thought, uh, why don't I make one from here all the way down to bedrock? So that's what this is. This is the new and improved larger version that goes way the heck down. You can't even see it. I got the frame rate on short, I believe, to help with the video. But um, you can't even see the bottom. It's 85 blocks. This one over here is 26, I think. This one's 85. Still have the same skylight. Got my recess lighting I, I saw in another video. And I got my gold uh, header there. Got four source blocks. I got a little bit of a, a V-shape to the water here. That helps center the, uh, the boat. I think the same thing is going on here. Not quite as much, but... Having a little bit of a V there keeps the boat hopefully in the center. So let's take a ride on this guy. And it's the same deal getting in and out. It's a little tricky, but uh, if you hit the bottom and then click and then move, you'll be all right. Okay, well, there we go. Um, so here's the bottom of it. Got two source blocks there. Actually, it might be four, but uh, they're flowing this way. A little bit of a V going on, not much. Get my recess lighting. The boat falling on your head if you're not careful and your boat hits you on the way down, it'll get all messed up. Yeah, is that dirt? God damn it. I'm a little OCD about dirt in my area. Pardon me while I fix this real quick. If it hits you on the way down, it'll just get a little messed up. So just give it a little, a little push back into the channel, and off she goes again. I got lighting behind the waterfall every five blocks all the way to the top. Oops, water there. Can't even see the boat up there until it's about to hit you on the head. Let's hop on and take a ride. fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, using the video I shoot, I'm going to time how long it takes to climb this distance and then how long it takes to ride to the top. It's much more fun to ride and it's a hell of a lot faster, but I want to figure out exactly how much. It's weird because the, when you're looking at the blocks as you go by, after a while, it, it kind of goes backwards due to the frame rate, so it kind of throws you for a loop there for a second. Like right there, it looks like it stops. All right, so hit the bottom, click, jump, and here's the ladder to the top. So let's see how long this takes. I 
think right about there I'd be at the top. I'm not even close to being to the top yet. A little jog there. Come on. Here's the bottom of my first waterfall right there. With the valley floor. And finally, we're up at the top. So as you can see, it's clearly the way to travel if you're going up and down quite a bit. Thanks for watching.